This next style seems a little bit too good to be true. This is Sassy by Rene of Paris and their orchid collection in the color cream velvet. It's going directly to my affordable series. There is tons of value here. All the details coming up. So this is Sassy. Sassy is a mid-length, shoulder skimming, shag style cut with lots of wispy layering. It has a really natural appeal. Now the reason why I am inducting this into my affordable series is because number one, the price is amazing and the features are very good quality as well. Everything about this wig style I can firmly recommend as valuable for the price. So right around $108 retail as of the date of this filming. So let's talk about this color real quick before I forget to talk about it. This is Cream Velvet. I feel like the Cream Velvet is very remin reminiscent of the Creamy Toffee R by Arne of Paris. Um, it's a medium to dark gold blonde. And then in that you'll see a pale baby gold blonde highlight. And all of that on a soft medium brown root. Now that root is a little bit stark next to the main body of the color here, but I will say that the camera really accentuates shadows. So that might appear a little darker on camera than it actually is. I was super impressed and pleasantly surprised by this wig style right out of the box. The first thing that struck me was the low profile of this style. I guess I was expecting something with tons of permatease and lots of volume. Um, and would have to probably work at it a bit to make it really desirable. But this is basically what it looked like right out of the box. I gave it a shake, I applied it. Uh, the parting space was perfect for me. It was a little bit left of center, but you can part it wherever you like. The fringe was manageable, but the profile was so pretty. So you don't get any unnatural volume on the sides. There's a little bit of lift at the top and the crown, but it really does accentuate the wispy, fine nature of these layers. And they've really perfected how these layers break around the face. So the front pieces are about seven inches, um, but it kind of looks shorter than that just because as soon as it comes off of the front of the cap, it reaches back into the style and blends like a feather into the other layers. I think that's super flattering. Plus it's really been nice to wear. It doesn't seem to wanna crowd in on the face. Now overall about 13, thir between 13 and 14 inches. It's a true shag style. Um, so you're gonna see just a little flips and bends everywhere where the layers end. This weighs about four and a half ounces and features a traditional style cap, but not the traditional, traditional style cap. <laughs> I will talk more about this in detail when we look at the underside, underside of the cap, but this is a completely closed in cap with some integrated wefting and so forth. It's completely machine made and it's average in size. So is there permatease? Yes, there is some permatease, and some is the operative word here because it's not overdone. Uh, all we have to do is think about Noriko's Jackson or Teresa Laura's Avery to use as an example. Much more permatease on those styles as compared to Sassy. So the fact that it has a, a closed cap with the integrated wefting they don't have to add a bunch of permatease in order to have good coverage for those weftings because the weftings are inside of the mesh material, more of a mesh material cover. So that really contributes to the low profile look of this style. So compared to like an Avery or a Jackson, you're gonna get a lot more volume on the sides and the top than what you're seeing on Sassy. In fact, I have here, the Tressalors Avery, which is a doppelganger for the, the Noriko Jackson, but you can already tell there's a ton of permatease covering these open wefts on the sides and back, and just lots and lots of big volume compared to Sassy here, which is more of a low profile. So if you really like Noriko's Jackson or Tressalors Avery, but don't care for all the permatease and would like a slimmer look, Sassy is definitely something you want to check out. The other, the other thing is that the Noriko Jackson, I think retails just under $200, like $197. I 
as of the date of this filming. I mean, this retails at $108. Both of them have a 30% discount. I think this is an amazing cap for the price. So everything is closed inside of this mesh material. So all of the wefts are integrated inside of the cap. You can't see through to any wefts, although you might be able to see a seam. It was not evident to me at all. I think this is so well done. And then you have a little bit of a hidden weft there at the front for a more natural looking hairline. A nice velvet ear tab with strong stays, ample fiber spliced in right at the perimeter, everything enclosed in that elastic. Then you have Velcro style adjusters with an extended felted nape, super comfortable. This looks like some of the hand tied caps that we can get for a lot more money, um, but I believe it's really nice coverage and it's super comfortable. Now, I will say that this fits a little more true to average than some of the Renee of Paris. I think the ideal circumference for this cap would be uh, 21 and a quarter to let's say 22 and a quarter. I anticipated that it would be a really nice glasses friendly style. There's very little permatees in the area and I'm getting a secure and comfortable fit with glasses.